Hi, welcome back. Now this is a part one of two videos. Um, what I'm using here, what I'm going to make here is what's called a displacement map. And you can use displacement maps for a number of different things, but we're going to make like a ripple effect, water, so we can make reflection, you know, water reflecting an image basically. Now if I bring up an image here, this one here, let me just size it so it fits on the screen. This image here for instance, I, it has water already, but I'm going to replace the water with my own water because I'm not happy with the reflection it's given here. So I'm going to take away this water and I'm going to put out artificial water there with the reflection. And and you could use this technique on a number of different images. And I'll post some of, of my Flickr to give you more examples of how I've used this technique. So we're going to create a displacement map in this video. And then in the next video, I'm going to show you how to make and put it all together on any image really but we're going to use this image so let's get let's go ahead and start making our displacement map our artificial water let me minimize this i'm going to come up here to file and create a new file and now this displacement map you can use over and over again i will actually put a download on my site so you can actually download this displacement map if you're finding it difficult to make anyway here's our new image the width i'm going to make 1000 height I'm going to make 2000 and I want the resolution about 300 and I'll leave it on RGB I want it on 8-bit image and the background is going to be white so I'm going to OK that and we'll get like a long sort of shaped image let me just size the window so we can see what we're doing OK the first thing I'm going to do is add some noise to this image so I'm going to go to filter excuse me noise and add noise. Now we're going to be really dramatic. We're putting it on the maximum 400 and we're going to put it on Gaussian and monochromatic. And I'm going to click OK. If I'm moving too fast for you, then just simply play the video again. So now we have a noisy image. I want to add some blur to this image. So I'm going to go to blur and Gaussian blur. There we go. And I'm going to add about two pixels to this. So I'm going to OK that. Now the image is blurred. Now here comes the slightly more technical bits now. We want to make this look like water. So let's go to our channels palette here in, on the layers there. And I want to select red. Now we're only going to be working with red and green. So let's work with the red first. On red, now I'm going to come up to, um, where is it, filter. I'm going to come down to stylize and emboss. I want this at 180 degrees. I'm typing in 180 there. I want the height at 1 and the amount right over to 500 as far as it can go. And I'm going to OK that. OK, so um, now what we want to do is select the green channel. There you go. And we're just going to repeat the procedure. So we're going to go to uh, Filter, Stylize, Emboss. This time we want it at 90 degrees, height 1 and amount 500 again. So we're going to OK that. And that's th so it doesn't look much like water now, but we are sort of getting sort of that rippled effect, text, water texture, but we need to take it a little bit further. OK, now we've made the, uh, the embossed changes. We're going to select um, RGB here, so it's all selected. And now we need to make some dramatic changes to the image to give it more of a um, watery effect. So I'm just going to size the image right down there because we need a, a lot of real estate here for this, what we're going to do. So I'm now pressing Control A to select the whole image. So I've got marching ants all around. I'm going to come up to Edit, Transform and Perspective. Now here's, the, here's what we need to do. We need to stretch this out to about 600 should do it. It doesn't have to be exact, but near enough. And we're going to press OK. That's the tick button, or you can press Return. I want to de deselect the image now. And now I'm going to select it again. So Control A. Coming up to Edit, Transform, Perspective. And again, I'm going to drag that out to about 600. Someone signed it in. Roughly about 600, doesn't have to be exact. And I'm going to OK that. Now, if I zoom in to the image now, you can see it's looking a lot more like water. But we, we need to take 
this just a little bit further to give it that more watery effect. Okay, and what we're going to do now is we're going to take uh, compress it a little bit more by resizing the image. So I'm going to come up here to image, image size, and I'm simply going to change the height down to a thousand. So I'm changing that two to a one. And make sure that um, you've got um, constraint properties not ticked, otherwise it'll really play you up. So we've done that, so I'm going to OK. And now it's looking a lot more like water. OK, so it's looking more like water, but we need to do a few more things. Let's select the red channel here. And making sure that your tools are set to white as your foreground and black as your background. Find your gradient tool. If, it's, if you're seeing paint bucket here, it's because it's, it's hidden. So click the gradient tool. We want it on linear. And we want to make sure it's on white to black there as well. So we're on linear. And what I'm going to do, <coughs> first of all, is I'm going to press Q to create a quick mask. Now what I'm going to do is draw a line simply draw a line straight down the image to the bottom near enough just touching the bottom there and release and if I take away the quick mask now by pressing Q you can see the marching ants um, here on the screen now I need to make a fill so I'm going to go to um, edit fill I want 50% gray and occupancy 100% I'm going to OK that great stuff. It's going to do the similar thing with the green. So I'm going to select green. I'm going to press Q. I'm going to draw a little line this time. Just a little bit down from the top. Whoops. There you go. Let's get rid of that. Let's press Q again so we can see what we're doing. Edit. Fill. 50% grey again. And OK that. So it's really coming together now. Okay, what we need to do now is select the RGB there, and because we haven't really done anything with the blue channel, we're going to take and hide the blue channel, so we click at the eye there, and uh, as you can see now, we now um, have our displacement map, and it looks like a nice, calm, ripply effect water. Now we can use this over and over on a number of different images. Uh, when we want to make this water effect. So all we need to do basically is save this now as a PSD um, for use later on. So simply just go to your file and uh, save as, and as you can see I've already saved saved one here and I've named it water. Um, I'm not going to save this one, um, but yeah, just save it. in a Make a folder somewhere, uh, maybe in your um, images folder. I called my Photoshop because I'll, I'll fill it with Photoshop stuff. Yeah, and that's our displacement map. Have a look at the next video now to see how to use this displacement map. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. If not, go to my website and download the displacement map.